Welcome guys. This is Technology Made Basic. I'm making a video today to help you in case you ever get the uh, IE crash error report or your Internet Explorer is not working properly or it's freezing and locking up uh, for some reason. I'm going to give you some uh, tips on how to possibly fix those errors. What we're going to do is we're going to first navigate to our Windows XP system and uh, we're going to go through Internet Explorer 8 because we have Internet Explorer 9 installed right now on our Windows 7 machine. So we're going to go ahead and open up Internet Explorer 8. And what we want to do first is make sure that we are logged in as an administrator in order to make any of these changes. And in order to do that, we can do something simple in uh, Windows XP. Click the Start button, click Run, and type in time, date, dot CPL. Hit Enter. And if it lets you do that without an error coming up saying that you're not allowed to do this because you're not an administrator, uh, then that means you are an administrator. So if it allows you to make any changes here, then we're good to go. And we also want to make sure that uh, error reporting is turned on. So we're going to go ahead and hit start, go to run, type in sysdm.cpl. And what we're going to do is go to the Advanced tab under the System Properties. And under the Advanced tab where it says Error Reporting, click on that. Make sure that Enable Error Reporting is, uh, the radio button is highlighted. So you get Windows Operating System Error Reports and Program Error Reports. And this is going to let us uh, know whether Internet Explorer is crashing, uh, may give us a actual maybe an extension or add-on that it's crashing with sometimes so we just want to make sure that is turned on in this case it is and sometimes with uh, Internet Explorer you may get a an issue where you have overlapping in different images uh, the web page is just not viewed normally and that may be due to the fact that that website is uh, originally created on an older web browser so something we could do to quickly fix that would be to go under the tools and where it says compatibility view just go ahead and click that and it's gonna have the website run in compatibility view uh, that way in case it's a older website that's uh, for an older web browser that's gonna let us uh, take care of that issue also another thing we could do is go back to tools and click on compatibility view settings and we can display all websites in compatibility view that way we make sure we're when we're navigating from website to website we don't have an issue of uh, website's not displaying properly on our web browser. So that's uh, one issue, one tip we could try when we have an issue like that. Another thing we could do is uh, go ahead and reset our browser settings. So we'll go ahead and click start, go to run, and in the run we're going to type in inetcpl.cpl, hit enter, and it's going to open up our internet properties. And what we want to do here is go to the Advanced tab, and where it says Reset Internet Explorer Settings, and this will come up even with uh, Internet Explorer not being opened. We hit Reset. If you don't want to uh, delete your cookies, uh, make sure this is unchecked. If you want to just go set, hit, go ahead and set everything back to default. Click that. Say Reset. It's going to go through all the resetting options. Hit Close, and you can open up your web browser, and everything is going to be reset back to default. It's going to, I'll let you take a quick look at that one more time. See, it's uh, basically reset it back to the time when Internet Explorer 8 was just like first installed. If we go back to that, you can see here when we go to reset, what it does, it disables toolbars and add-ons. It goes back to the default browser settings. Um, so basically it clears everything out. Another thing we could do is start our, even if that doesn't help, we can go ahead and start our browser in um, basically in a mode that disables the toolbars and add-ons. So what we're going to do is click start, go to run, this type type I explore dot exe, put a space, dash exe, off. 
And what that's going to do, it's going to start our browser in a mode where it's running without add-ons. And that's going to let us know whether the add-ons that we have installed on our browser are causing an issue. Uh, so if your browser starts and it doesn't freeze and it runs normally with this, then you know that an add-on is probably the culprit, it's probably what's causing your problems. And in order to uh, manage our add-ons, what we could do is go to Control Panel, go to Network and Internet Connections, Internet Options, and we're going to, it's the same way when we typed in uh, that command through the run. It's going to basically take us back to the Internet Properties. And under Programs, we have here where it says Manage Add-ons. So we click that, and here's where it's going to allow us to uh, look at all our add-ons that are enabled, click on them, and disable them. Uh, you may not know which one's causing the problem, so you may have to try one at a time to figure out which one it is, and uh, possibly disable that. Go ahead and minimize our XP system and our Windows 7 system. It's the same way. When we go in Internet Explorer, we go to our tools. We still have our manage add-ons here. We got our Internet options here. If we go to Internet options. It's going to be the same way as Internet Explorer 8, where I can reset my settings. I can go to programs. I can go to manage add-ons, and here's where I can uh, disable and enable the different add-ons that I have on uh, installed in Internet Explorer 9. And then uh, also the same way to get to back where I was is manage add-ons. So one other thing you can also try is if you're still having problems with it, go to Start, All Programs, Windows Updates, and check for any updates that are available for your computer. Try and see if any of the Windows Updates correct, corrects the issue with your web browser. And if all else fails, we can always install, uninstall our web browser by going to Start control panel, go to programs, programs and features, and what we're going to want to do, um, it's not going to be listed under your normal programs, where it says view installed updates, go ahead and click that, and it's going to show me all the uh, updates that are installed on my computer. And right now currently on the Windows 7 machine, I'm running Internet Explorer 9, so we're want what we want to do is look for the Internet Explorer 9 update where it actually installed. So we'll just uh, navigate through all these updates here. There it is, Windows, Windows Inter Internet Explorer 9. I can go ahead and uninstall it. And that way it's going to revert back to Internet Explorer 8 and hopefully fixing my issue to where I can go back to uh, Microsoft's website and re-download Internet Explorer 9. So those are some of the tips that you can run, uh, and those commands that we ran under Run in Windows XP will run under the search here in uh, Windows 7. Like, uh, say if I wanted to run my browser without any uh, add-ons, go ahead and type ixexe space dash ext off. Hit enter. There we are. So let me know that an Explorer is currently running without add-ons. That's just a way to troubleshoot whether it's going to be an add-on that's causing the issue. Uh, always make sure that your system is up to date with uh, Microsoft updates. And also make sure to run a full system scan with an antivirus program like, say, Microsoft Security Essentials. So I got that installed here. I can go ahead and run a full system scan to check for anything that's uh, corrupting my browser. Uh, we can uninstall and reinstall the browser. Make sure that error reporting is turned on. And uh, we can also run the browser in compatibility mode and also reset the browser by going through the internet options. And I have all the options here where I can go to programs and I can uh, manage add ons. I can go to the advanced tab and I can reset my browser. So, those are some of the uh, tips you can definitely try out to fix your IE crashing. Hope uh, this information was helpful and that concludes this video.